Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're gonna to be making a resin flower coaster and we're gonna be using one of these cute little pressed flowers from Let's Resin for the center of our coaster. I'll link this set down below. You get these three different colors of leafing, gold leaf, copper leaf, and silver leaf, and all these different pressed flowers in this set. Today we're gonna to be using the Platinum 360 resin from Laura's Art Corner. I went ahead and mixed that up off camera just to save time. If you wanna see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how I mix my resin, if you're new to resin, I'll link one of my tutorials down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. I show you step-by-step -step how to mix your resin. So I just filled my mold two thirds of the way with the clear. Here I'm just going in with my silicone paintbrush, just going around the perimeter of the mold, dislodging any bubbles that might be clinging to the perimeter of the mold. Um, bubbles really like to cling to the sides of your mold. So I just dislodged those, hit them with my heat gun, and now we're gonna lay down this cute little purple daisy. I went ahead and placed it in the center and then I'm gonna push it underneath the resin to make sure that it is fully submerged and covered with resin. Now we're gonna go in with our alcohol inks. These are from Let's Resin as well. I'm using peach red, sapphire blue, and lemon yellow. And I just went in with that peach red. I'm gonna add a little bit of the sapphire blue and then a few drops of the lemon yellow as well. And I'm gonna go in with my silicone paintbrush and just kind of blend those colors together a little bit. Um, I just wanted to kind of swirl a tiny bit to blend the colors and then we're gonna go in and draw our flower petals. Super simple and easy to do this. Um, the Platinum 360 resin is really good for flower coasters. It's one of my favorites. I've been getting some really pretty flowers with it. Um, it does have a 20 minute working time though, so if you guys do try this resin, just keep that in mind. I always mix up my resin and start pouring right away. I don't wait at all. I just uh, mix up my resin and start making my flower coaster. It's got a really quick working time, so you can't mess around with it. You gotta mix it up and pour it right away. So now we're gonna go in and draw our flower petals. I'm using Angel White Epoxy Paste from Laura's Art Corner. And I'm gonna do five large petals, and then I'm gonna go in and do a smaller petal underneath those large petals and then another petal underneath that. So I'm basically just doing five petals with three different petals on each, making them smaller as I get towards the center of my flower. And I did mix up my Angel White Epoxy Paste off camera, but if you wanna see step-by-step -step how I do that, I do it the same every single time. I will link my previous Rainbow Flower coaster video down below. Be sure to go check it out. In that video, I show you step-by-step -step how I mix up my Angel White. I just take a tiny, tiny bit and mix it in one ounce of clear resin. And when you do your flower petals, you wanna make sure that you're not um, dipping into your white and then having like a big dollop of the white on the end of your paintbrush. You wanna let anything like that drip back into your cup and then go in and draw your flower petal. Because if you have a big blob of white on the end of your paintbrush, it's gonna end up showing on your flower. Um, you're gonna get a big blob of white on your flower petal. So just let any kind of big dollops of white drop back into your cup after you dip into your white and then go in and draw your flower petal. And you can always add more white if you don't think you had enough, but you just don't want the big blobs of white to drop down on your petals. And now I'm gonna go and add a little bit of white around the perimeter right here, and that's it. I didn't add any heat to this. I didn't torch it. I didn't hit it with my heat gun. I just let it dry overnight. And now we're gonna go in the next day and fill up the mold the rest of the way with some glitter. I'm gonna be using Fireworks Glitter from Laura's Art Corner. And for this layer, I'm using the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. I like to use it for projects like this. And I'm just basically pouring a little bit in my mold. I'm gonna smooth that out with my stir stick, hit it with my heat gun to pop bubbles, and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours, and then we'll be ready to demold it. 
And really quickly too, I wanted to give a shout out to my friend, Resin Art by Catherine. She just started a YouTube channel and she makes all kinds of gorgeous flower coasters on her channel. So if you like resin flower coaster videos, definitely go check her out. I'll link her channel down below. Go subscribe and tell her Tish said hi. I let it dry for 24 hours. Here we are ready to demold it. I think it turned out so pretty. I just love how cute that little flower is in the center and the petals that we added really make it feel like a blooming flower. I'm gonna get it in some better lighting here and show you. You can really see how pretty it turned out. There's a lot of really gorgeous depth and dimension in this one. I just love, love, love it. And next time I think I'm gonna leave out that lemon yellow. I'm not crazy about the green that I got in the center of the flower. I still think it's pretty, but next time I think I'll do the peach red and the sapphire blue only and leave out that yellow. Or maybe I'll just do sapphire blue. I really love blue, so maybe I'll just do that. Um, but next time I, I think I'm going to do one of the cute little pansies in the center. Pansies are one of my favorite flowers, but let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments I hope you give this a try I'll link all the materials I use down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have So if you guys want to get any of these products, you'll get a little bit of extra savings Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and Go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot I hope you guys are all doing fabulous and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye guys